Hello Mr. Merkich here and today I'm showing you part 4 on how to make a mod menu for MW2. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of getting stuck for ideas of what to cover now for these tutorials because I've told you like bits like most of the basic stuff you'll need to know now to make you start making your own stuff. Um, so today I'm going to just talk to you about a bit of menu customization. Um, Bef before you start actually making a mod, um, like a mod menu, you wanna you want to know what you're making. Like you don't just wanna start making it and think, oh, this is just really basic. You you wanna know what what you're gonna do before you start. So what I always do, and a good thing is to do, is to come into Paint uh, or whatever Photoshop, whatever you wanna use. I'm just using Paint because Photoshop will not go well while I'm recording and all that. Yeah, so I've opened up Paint quick and I made like a quick design. Uh, well, all all this basically is is three main shaders and then you got your yellow lines. Uh, ignore these black lines on the outline. I just had to do this to to fill in this area. But yeah, you got your three main shaders and then your lines that go around it. Uh, I just thought of this really quickly. I'm um, uh, you could. You can have the idea if you want. I'm not going to use this idea. Uh, although I have I have made something like this. I'm not going to use it. So yeah, you can use this if you want. Uh, also, you like the HUD the HUD elements on MW2 or any game. You're only you're only allowed like a certain amount. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many it is. It's like 20 or something like that. After that, if you add any more, uh, they won't show on the screen, and you'll know when you've reached it because you'll be getting like pieces of shaders not showing up, or you're getting fatal crash or something stupid like that. That's how you know you've reached your limit. So when you are designing your menus, uh, just be sure that like you're you're counting how many shaders you're going to be using as you're going along. Uh, for this, another good thing is to do. Is to just if you get a line, just draw one like. That. Oh, it's gone behind it, but yeah. Or you can just get some text. You label them like label each shader. So this would be this is one shader, two shaders, and three. So you've got three main shaders, and then you've got your lines that go around the edge in yellow. So this will be like if you don't have to have this yellow one here, that could count as the bottom. That could count as the bottom like that of the screen. What you'd have here is like a like a news bar or something, which I showed in the last tutorial going along. Uh, here you'd have some like instructions like A to o, like how to control a menu or just some text there if you wanted. Uh, you could also add some pulsing text up here, which I don't really know if like I've not showed you how to do that. I might show you in the next tutorial actually. And yeah, you just this is just the layout and then you got all your design and all that right so let's count how many we've got we got the top line the left line this right line here and we've got two more lines and this one if you want it you can also just leave this to the edge of the screen and count this white bit as the edge of the screen as well so really all you've got is one two three four five six seven eight shaders make this menu which is not too bad that's that's quite good actually for for what it looks like that's quite a good design so to to make this it's really easy the if you remember when i showed you how to add a line every shade is the same as that except you just change the dimensions so really if i was to make something simple like well this is not really simple but for me it is quite simple uh, if we go into visual studios now we will need to add these lines and just remembering if we go to our uh, menu which is here we've already added two lines already the left line and the right line so if we go back to the design the, the design I'd count that as these two here and then so that means we've got our add top line and two more big shape right so let's 
if you come along just here I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this line down because it's getting a bit too long and I don't like keep scrolling along uh, so what we got we've got the top line uh, we got the bottom shader I'll call it bottom shader one for the other. What else we got? And then we got to do the last two lines. So I'll call it oh crap. Well, call it bottom line. And bottom line too. Make sure you put the comma at the end of them. I'm going to change this to a capital because I like having capitals. Right, so yeah. That's all my shaders now. It's, this is starting to get filled up. Like, this is filling up now. So, you, you know you the menu's getting bigger. Right, and obviously you've got to add all your stuff down here. So, what did we add? We added the top line. My spelling so bad. I'm actually going to copy and paste all this because of time. Right, so we've got the top line, bottom line, bottom line two. What else do we have? We had bot bottom shader. We had bottom shader too. You can work out now if so we got Apparently this is undefined, so I'll go off and check if I missed any out. Oh, I called it bottom shader one. Just change that to two. Right, so what did I miss? Right, didn't miss anything. Right, so we got everything now. Like all the shaders we need. Now it's just a matter of adding them. Uh, I'm not going to add them now because that is going to take a long time, and it it's, it's like trial and error. When you're making a menu, that's it's like when you're adding all these lines, you've got to keep testing it, see if they're in the right place, and it's pretty time consuming, so I'm not going to add them in this video, but you get the idea, that's what you'd need to add, and then, obviously, you just work like, work out where it's going, so, the, the most important thing is to know the middle, the middle here is free, like, 320, so, this this stuff here would need to be, like, 100 to 120 or something like that like for this line and then down here it need to be like 350 for this line I'd say and then that's once once you've like made your first menu and worked out the dimensions of the screen this making these gets a lot easier on promise because just like now for me it wouldn't take me as long but for you now but it's good for if I if I just copied this all down and wrote it down, you'd copy. You wouldn't be learning. It's good for you to try it yourself and uh, like get get to know the screen yourself. Because if I just keep telling you, you're not going to learn the screen, and that's quite an important part of making menus and getting them to look nice. And obviously now you've probably added all your options, so you're going to have to change all the what's it uh, all the positions of the stuff which takes a long time that's why I said it's a good idea to come in and design your menu first because if you make the whole menu and then you've got to change it again that takes a long time so you want to be sure you're you're um, designing it first so yeah that's all I'm going to show you for this tutorial
and the next one should be out maybe tomorrow and I'm going to be showing you how to add pulse in text maybe so yeah please like and comment and I'll see you in part 5